Welcome to Math We Know. How nice this question is. Square root of x then plus square root of 18 equals square root of 50. How should we solve for the value of x? A good problem. For solving this equation, the square root of 18 and the square root of 50 are in the way. So, how should we solve this question? How should we deal with these two numbers? Of course, first we should simplify square root of eighteen and square root of fifty. First of all, we should factorize the prime factors of eighteen and fifty. Firstly, eighteen, a nice number, and I like it very much. Why? Because in this problem, hmm, eighteen is two times nine. So two times nine, nine is three times three. So it is two times three squared. This is eighteen. And fifty, one hundred fifty. It is also good. It is two times twenty-five, and twenty-five. It is also square number. It is five squared. Hmm. Not only is eighteen nice. But fifty as well. Two times three squared. Two times five squared. Hmm. So now, let's simplify this root eighteen. Square root of eighteen. It is equal to. Just add a square root. On two times. Three squared. Mm hmm. So it is equal to square root of two, then times square root of three squared. I've used this formula: square root of a times b. Is equal to square root of a, then times square root of b. Memorize it; it is very easy. And now, square root of three squared. Of course, it is equal to three. So now we should use this formula: square root of a squared is equal to a. But pay attention; only when a is not negative. So then, it is square root of two then times three、it、is three root two. By using the same method, square root of fifty, it is equal to square root of two times five squared, and it is. Square root of two times square root of five squared. Square root of two times five, and the result is five times root two. Hmm, successful. So it is square root of x. Plus square root of eighteen is three times square root of two, and equals five root two. This plus three root two. Hmm. So subtract it from the both sides, and the left side is just root x. Square root of x is equal to five times. Square root of two, then minus three times square root of two. Five times square root of two, then minus three times square root of two is. You can take out a square root of two. That square root of two then times five minus three is two, so it is two times square root of two, and then square the both sides. You can get the answer. I'm gonna write it here. It is 
squared is equal to two squared is four, and then times square root of two squared is two. So it is four times two is eight. So the final answer, x, is a, it must be positive since it is under the square root. So x is two times four. Eight. Hmm. How nice the solution is. To get it, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.